Hey there, welcome back to Coding Stuff and in this video we will parse JSON movie list from API. So this is the JSON file that we have and I will provide this in the description box as well. So we will be creating application like this, uh, we have the movie list. So if I hit on the, the movie, so it will take us to the detail activity where we will display one image, the poster of the movie and then title and the rating and the overview. So if you want to connect with me on Instagram, you can follow me at the ID coding stuff 070. Okay, so let's start to create the app. So I have created this project and I have added one detailed activity. So this is empty right now. And also I have added implemented the activity detail. And in here we just have one image view, one text title and rating and description and also i have added the item layout for holding the each item so it contains one image view with uh, with 165 and height as 145 dp and then movie title rating and overview so if we click on this card uh, this whole card it will take us to the activity detail and the image width and height will expand okay and also the let me show you the overview so the overview text view uh, which is 200 dp and we have set the input type as a text multi-line and also have added the max line that is 3 and the size is 15 dp but in the activity detail but uh, you can see there is no max lines of thing because we want to show it a uh, full overview or the full description so first of all we'll add uh, glide and volley library dependency so just search volley library dependency and hit on the first link and also the glide so we'll just copy this implementation and i will paste it in the build.gradle app level okay over here so control v and also this github glide library so i'll just copy the implementation Control c now i can just close these tabs so i will paste it over here hit on the sync now so it is synced now i can just close this and i will show you the json file so this is the json file it it contains one array and inside that we have multiple objects of uh, holding the id rating title and the poster of the image as well so i will provide this json file in the description box so so you can use this json file so now i'll just copy this and so search for json generator and hit on this link a json-generator.com and i'll just select this all control a and i will delete it and I will paste it our JSON file and then hit on the generate upload JSON to server copy JSON file URL and I will just paste it over here so as you can see we have one array as I have mentioned all earlier and then we have this rating title overview and the poster then we have multiple things like like genre action adventure animation science fiction and all that you can also retrieve them as well if you want but we'll just uh, retrieve the rating title overview and the poster okay so i'll just minimize this and i will open android studio okay so the first thing that we'll do here is to add the internet permission so users permission and android permission internet in your manifest file so now i'll just close this so we got the item activity detail i'll just close this for a moment and this one also okay so in the main activity first we'll add the recyclable to our layout so here we got it i'll just constraint it horizontal in parent and vertical in parent width and height will be 0 dp match constraints so recycle view the id and we'll just collect it over here it's private recycler view recycler view and also will require the request queue so private 
रिक्वेस्ट क्यू रिक्वेस्ट क्यू तो रिसाइकल व्यू इक्वल्स टू फाइंड व्यू बाई आई डी आई डॉट आई डी डॉट रिसाइकल व्यू रिसाइकल व्यू डॉट सेट हैज फिक्स साइज सो टू रिसाइकल व्यू डॉट सेट ले आउट मैनेजर एंड यू विल पास न्यू लिनियर ले आउट मैनेजर and the context so this and later i uh, will create adapter and we'll just set this with the recycle view okay so first of all we'll create one model class so new java class and let's name it as a movie so we'll have three or four variables so first will be private string and this will be title poster and I guess overview, and we'll create one double variable, so private double, and this will be rating. So now we'll create one constructor of this class, so public movie, and we'll pass these parameters, so string title, string poster, string overview, and double rating. Now we'll just set this, so this, sorry. Okay, so now I'll just right click over here, hit on generate, create getters and select all of these. Okay, so that's it for the movie class. Now we need to create one adapter class. So click on new job class and let's name it as a movie adapter. And this will extend to recycle view. So recycle view dot adapter. And here we need to pass the inner class. So first of all, we'll just create it. So public class and we sorry holder. This extends to recycle view dot view holder. And we'll press Alt Enter, create constructor, and then we'll pass that class over here. So movie holder. Alt Enter to implement methods. Okay. So we'll create some variables here. So private context, context, and then also we'll create one list, and we'll pass movie type over here, movie list, and then we'll create constructor of this class as well. So public movie adapter, and we'll pass the context, context, and the list. So movies, okay. So this. Dot context equals to context, and then movie list equals to movies. Okay. So now in the gate item count, we pass movie list dot size. Okay. So in the inner class, we we'll just collect all the IDs of these widgets. So. So we have the image view. Let's name it as image view or poster. And then we have three textures. So first is the title, and then overview, and the rating. Okay. So now we'll just find their ID. So image view equals to item view dot find view by ID dot ID dot image view. Okay, so make sure you find uh, all the correct IDs, or it will throw the null pointer exception. So now in the on create view holder, we'll create one view. So view we view equals to layout inflator dot from, and here we'll pass in the context dot inflate r dot layout dot Item and parent and then the false attached to root. Return new movie holder and here we need to pass the view. Okay, so in the on bind view holder, first of all we'll create one instance of our movie class. So movie movie equals to the movie list target and here we need to pass the position. So now we'll call holder dot 
reading dot say text and here we'll pass movie dot get get rating so it is showing us error because of it's a double value so we'll just convert it to string and then it will happy so holder dot uh, title dot set text and then movie dot get title holder dot overview equals to sorry dot set text and here we need to pass movie dot get overview and then the last one we'll use glide to load the poster so glide with we pass the context dot load and movie dot get poster dot into holder dot image view and then semicolon in the on bind view holder will come back later because we need to pass all this data in the detailed activity so we'll, we'll do that later so in the main activity to instantiate this request queue we'll create another class so that will be volley singleton I have already explained uh, what is volley singleton and if you want to check that video link is in the card and also in the description box so basically volley singleton uh, singleton patterns means creating only one instance not multiple so name it as volley singleton so in here we'll create private uh, request queue variable so request queue and we'll name it as request queue then private static variable so that will be volley singleton m instance then we need to create constructor of this class uh, which will be private so from the outside we cannot create instance of this class and here we'll need to pass the context context and here we'll initialize our request queue so request queue equals to volley dot new request queue. and here we need to pass this context dot get application context so this request queue will available throughout the application and to create an instance of this volley singleton class we need another public method so public and this will be static and synchronized as well so synchronize basically means a thread shape only one thread can access at a time so public static synchronize and then leave the class name so sorry volley singleton get an instance and here we need to pass context so context context and in this class first we'll check if the instance is already created so if an instance is equals to null so if it is not created then we'll create the new instance so m instance equals to new volley singleton we'll call the constructor of this class and we'll pass in the context okay so if uh, the instance is already created then we'll just uh, return the m instance so if uh, the instance is not created we'll create new and if the instance is already created it will just return the previously created instance then we'll create one public class that will return the request queue so public request queue get request queue and then this will this will just return the request queue okay so in the main activity over here we'll write sorry uh, the request queue equals to volley singleton class dot get m instance and here we need to pass the context so this dot get request queue it will return the request queue over here so now what we'll do we'll create one method to load or uh, to fetch the data so fetch movies semicolon so just click on the right bulb create that method over here so first of all we'll create one url so string url equals to quotes and semicolon so we'll just uh, copy this link that we have created using json generator tool and i will paste it over here and make sure you write https over here so as you can see we have array not the object at the start so we need to request for json array so we'll write json array request and we'll name it as json array request new json array request 
and the first parameter that we need to pass is request dot method sorry dot gate and then the url so url and will pass null after that and then we need to pass the response listener so new sorry response listener and put semicolon then new error listener and semicolon so in the error listener we'll just display one toast error dot get message so in this response uh, let me show you we have this complete uh, objects so we need to iterate through all this object and we need to retrieve the rating title overview and the poster so for that we'll use for loop in here so for int i i will start from zero then the column i should be less than response dot length and then i plus plus so now uh, we are in the each object so inside the array we have json object so we write json object json object equals to response dot get object and here we need to pass i so same column so this is showing us error because of try catch so surround with try and catch and this will happy so from the json object so it means uh, it is over here at i is equal to zero we need this rating and title and overview so we'll create some variables string uh, title equals to json object dot get string and title key and then string overview equals to json object dot get string i guess it is overview we'll check it so the title overview and the poster so string poster equals to json object dot get string and here we need to pass poster and then we need to create one double variable so double and this will be rating equals to json object dot get double and here we'll pass rating as a key and then semicolon okay so now uh, we need to create one list so private list and here we need to pass movie type so movie and we'll name it as a movie list and we'll initialize it over here so movie list equals to new array list and then semicolon okay so over here what we'll do we'll create object of movie class so movie let's name it as a movie equals to new movie and here we need to pass this title and poster over overview and the rating okay and then we'll call our list so movie list dot add and we'll pass this movie over there and after this after the catch statement uh, we'll create adapter of our class so movie adapter adapter equals to new movie adapter and here we need to pass the context so main activity dot this comma the list so movie list and then semicolon so we'll call our recycler view and we'll just set the adapter so dot set adapter and we'll pass this adapter and we need to add this json array request to our request queue so after this request queue dot add and here we need to pass the json array request and then semicolon okay so make sure uh, you connect your own device because sometime uh, your emulator doesn't connect to the internet and it will not load the data so i have connected my device now i'll just hit on this run button and it will install the app so it is installed and as you can see it loads the data so spider man 
and everything is loaded and you can see we just have three lines the description or overview so as you can see uh, the first item is spider man as you can see the title and the second is paid cemetery kind of thing so in our app as you can see spider man at the top and in this and the third is avengers as you can see it's working so now uh, what we need to do we need to add on key listener to each item and then we'll pass that data to detail activity so i'll just minimize this before uh, we need to add id to our constraint layout we'll provide id to it so that will be main layout okay so in here we'll create one constraint layout let's name it as a constraint layout and we'll find its id so constraint layout equals to item view dot find view by id i dot id dot main layout and then semicolon okay so over here we'll call a holder dot constraint layout and we'll add on click listener to it so new on click listener and then we need to create one intent so intent intent equals to new intent and here we need to pass the context and then the detailed activity so detail activity dot class so now we'll create one bundle to pass some data so bundle bundle equals to new bundle so bundle dot put string and this will be key will be title and value will be movie dot get title i'll just duplicate this two times and then it will be overview i'll get overview and then the poster url so poster movie dot get poster okay and then we need to pass the double value so put double key will be rating movie dot get poster sorry uh, get rating okay and then we'll use this intent and put extras then we'll pass the bundle and then we'll call context dot start activity and we'll pass this intent okay so we have passed uh, this data from the adapter then we need to receive it in the detailed activity so i'll just close all of these things right now so in the detailed activity we'll create one bundle and bundle equals to get intent dot get extras and then semicolon first of all we'll just create collect all the things that we have sent so and title will name it and bundle dot get string so key is title sorry first duplicate so m um, poster and the key is poster and then overview and um, overview then double m rating equals to bundle dot get double and here we need to pass the rating key okay so let me just check again the keys okay we are fine now we need to collect ids of the widgets from here first of all we will have the image view so image view and let's name it as the image view find view by id so we have find it all the ids of four widgets as you can see one two three four now we'll just set this value to this widgets First of all, we have the image view, so we'll use glide library. So glide with we pass the context as this, then dot load 
and this will be m poster dot into and we'll have the image view then we have the rating tv so dot set text and here we need to pass the rating fuck as the m rating dot to string and then we have title tv so title tv dot set text and here we'll pass m title then we have overview tv dot set text and overview and semicolon okay so i think that's it now i'll just hit on the run button and we'll check it's working or not okay so now i'll hit on this spider man so as you can see it redirect me to the detailed activity and here as you can see the title image and the overview so i'll hit on the back and again i will hit on this avenger endgame again this one so rating is 9.0 this is a random rating it's not correct so this is working fine Okay, so that's it for this video make sure you subscribe to channel for upcoming tutorials and thank you for watching